The Wag Christian Community Sunday School was started in February 2015 by Roy and Joanne Grimm, missionaries of Ten Miles Community Church of Idaho, USA. It is located in a small fishing village in the provincial Zambales in the Philippines, and it is the only born-again evangelical outreach to the area. Well, actually, we were working in Cambodia as, uh, as missionaries, and uh, we were going to build a rest house here. So we found this property and we built a bamboo house. And it wasn't long before uh, the kids started coming around and, and we, uh, we started a Sunday school. So in uh, February 2015, we started a Sunday school here. And uh, we, we uh, quit with our work in Cambodia and we moved here. So now we have a Sunday school for the kids. We have about 100 kids coming uh, for two years now. That was the beginning. God's Word is taught every Sunday to children aged 3 to 18 and is a time of praise and worship, fun and a hot meal. We have, a, we have a group of kids that's uh, ranging in age from like 2 or 3 to 17, 18. And uh, we come here, uh, we, we do a study, we do uh, uh, memory verses for the kids. And of course we teach them right from wrong, we teach them what the Bible says. Water you turn into wine You open the eyes of the blind There's no one like you Many of the local children do not have electricity or indoor plumbing or even three meals a day. And the monthly support this ministry receives from its supporters allows a small feeding program, such as rice during the monsoon season when the fishing boats cannot go out, t-shirts once a year, and sometimes even new slippers. There is a VBS ministry during the summer and gift baskets are shared at Christmas time. The, uh, the response from the community has been very good. The uh, parents tell us how they've seen behavior changes in their kids even. And uh, so it's very, uh, very exciting to see what's going on there too. But uh, the uh, end of the day, we have about a two hour session on Sundays and then we, uh, we always feed them a hot meal as well. And out of the, ashes we the ministry also supports some other children for transportation and lunch money to continue their education. The Sunday school ministry is now three years old and thriving. The average attendance is over 100 on any given Sunday and close to 200 for special events and holidays. Presently, all functions are held at the home of Roy and Joanne. Recently, with the support of a few friends in the USA and the Philippines, along with the savings of Roy and Joanne, they were able to purchase a lot close by, on which to build a church building. This is a very exciting development for the local community which has no church in the area. God is really moving in this community and continues to bring his people together to facilitate this project. The owner of the lot for the church offered it at half of the price for the purpose of building a church for the community. A local owner of a hardware store has pledged sand for the concrete. Just recently, a family who makes hollow blocks for buildings has volunteered to provide these for the church. And another man has offered to have his engineering design group draft the drawings for the church building at no cost. fundraising campaign is now underway to raise funds to build the church building. Recently, a man in Virginia has heard about the project from the internet 
and started to contact his network for fundraising. God truly continues to work in amazing ways for this church to be built in Lawag, Cabana. We would like to thank you for your past prayers and support of Roy and Joanne and the ministry in the Philippines. Your support to the ministry and the church building are highly appreciated and continue to keep God's presence in the lives of the people of Loa. With God's grace, guidance, and in His will, we are blessed to present to you Lawag Community Christian Church.